You never lose a dream, it just incubates as a hobby. Always deliver more than expected. If you're changing the world, you're working on important things. You're excited to get up in the morning. Especially in technology, we need revolutionary change, not incremental change. Have a healthy disregard for the impossible. You need to invent things and you need to get them to people. You need to commercialize those inventions. Obviously, the best way we've come up with doing that is through companies. We're at maybe 1% of what is possible. Despite the faster change, we're still moving slow relative to the opportunities we have. I think it is often easier to make progress on mega ambitious dreams. I know that sounds completely nuts. But, since no one else is crazy enough to do it, you have little competition. Lots of companies don't succeed over time. What do they fundamentally do wrong? They usually miss the future. You don't need to have a 100-person company to develop that idea. Especially in technology, we need revolutionary change, not incremental change. Small groups of people can have a really huge impact. If you're changing the world, you're working on important things. You're excited to get up in the morning. Invention is not enough. Tesla invented the electric power we use, but he struggled to get it out to people. You have to combine both things, invention and innovation, to be successful. We should be building great things that don't exist. The ultimate search engine would understand everything in the world. It would understand everything that you asked it and give you back the exact right thing instantly. Especially in technology, we need revolutionary change, not incremental change. You don't need to have a 100-person company to develop that idea. Always work hard on something uncomfortably exciting. It's very hard to fail completely if you aim high enough. When you innovate, you've got to be prepared for everyone telling you you're nuts. I have had all of the disadvantages required for success. Great achievers are driven, not so much by the pursuit of success but by the fear of failure. The only way to get ahead is to find errors in conventional wisdom. I believe people have to follow their dreams, I did. If you do everything that everyone else does in business, you're going to lose. The only way to really be ahead, is to, be different, dot. You have to believe in what you do in order to get what you want. When you live your life in different ways, it makes people around you become uncomfortable. So deal with it. They don't know what you are going to do. I believe life is an intelligent thing, that things aren't random. I have a problem with too much money. I can't reinvest it fast enough, and because I reinvest it, more money comes in. Yes, the rich do get richer. You have to act and act now.
The most important aspect of my personality as far as determining my success goes, has been my questioning conventional wisdom, doubting experts, and questioning authority. If you do everything that everyone else does in business, you're going to lose. The only way to really be ahead, is to, be different, dot. When you're the first person whose beliefs are different from what everyone else believes, you're basically saying, I'm right and everyone else is wrong. That's a very unpleasant position to be in. It's at once exhilaration and the same time an invitation to be attacked. Life's a journey. It's a journey about discovering limits. You have to believe in what you do in order to get what you want. I think I have a duty to help the people who work for me. The only way to get ahead is to find errors in conventional wisdom. The only way to get ahead is to find errors in conventional wisdom. You can't spend as much money as I have, even if you try. I've been trying. I feel like this year is really about, like, the year of just realizing stuff. When you grow up on camera, everybody feels like they know you, but they don't. I just want to inspire my fans to be whoever they want to be, because that's what I've always done. I'm not materialistic. I love nice things, but I don't live my life with them. I know how influential I am over my fans and followers. I feel like everything I do, my hair color, my makeup, I always start these huge trends, and I don't even realize what I'm capable of. I never really post personal things on social media. It's like my one place that I can just be free. I'm a businesswoman, and I run a successful business. I have to make executive decisions every day. I don't really regret anything. I do consider myself a businesswoman, but I'm not where you're going to go if you're looking for a Harvard-level business idea. I'm a human being and I like to live life. And I think I've done a pretty great job so far. I don't want to be a bad role model. I don't want to go out and do something really dumb and be like, hey, kids, don't do that. I'm just trying to not lose myself through this process, because I feel like I've already lost parts of me, and I don't want to lose any more. The more people who love you, the more there are people who hate you. I'm so young, but I'm so ahead of myself. I know I get a lot of hate, but I don't care. I just let it roll off my back. I'm like, whatever. I don't really think I have anything to prove. I'm always trying to be different, and that's what I like about myself. I don't want to start acting and not go to college, I just want to not go to college right now. I do everything I want to do, I have my dream job and the freedom to be creative. Life is about being happy, being who you are, and I feel like we are so blessed to have the support system and the best family to really just support each other no matter what we're going through. You have to be the best of whatever you are, but successful, 
cool actresses come in all shapes and sizes. I don't think of myself as a role model for others, but I like to live my life by my own integrity. So, in that sense, I might be a positive influence. I do believe you should get over your insecurities and just try to be the best you can. I think we all have the same struggles in our lives, and we all need the same kind of inspiration. We all need to be reminded of what we can be capable of. I've always been a little insecure about my public persona, and being on PETA's worst dressed list was the last straw. Goodness gracious, I could have cried. But I didn't, thank goodness. I'm not into depriving myself of things. I'm not into suffering. I'm not into dieting. I'm into living life and doing things that make me happy. I'd like to be a good role model and set a good example for other girls. I think I'm finally getting the hang of this communication thing, so I'm excited. I don't want to be a stop and start actor. I have this need to feel like people understand me. I'm always looking for the next thing, the next challenge, the next role, the next project. I'm never satisfied. I don't think there's ever a wrong time for a polka dot. You have to be okay with your own fears. If you're an honest person, you'll make mistakes, but it'll be okay. I believe that you can change your life, but you have to be willing to take the risks, and you have to be willing to work hard for it. Being perfect is being flawed, accepting it, and never letting it make you feel less than your best. The only way you can measure your success is by reflecting and seeing what you want out of the experience. And then setting a new goal. I've learned that you can't make everyone happy. The only way to do something is to just do it. It sounds really simple, but it's true. Success is different for everyone. Everybody's got their own version of it. For me, success is fulfilling my potential. You can be a thousand different women. It's your choice which one you want to be. It's about freedom and sovereignty. You celebrate who you are. You say, this is my imperfection. You say, I'm doing my best. I try not to be too hard on myself, because I know that I'm not perfect, and I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not afraid of being sexy. It's a part of who I am. It's a part of my personality, and I think everyone should embrace their inner sexiness.